Spit it in the bands in the tank on E. You gotta go and get it, don't nothing come free. I'm standing right solid, buying harder than T. A rig on dinner with a crow. Hey guys, Zed from Zed Productions here, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this tactical survival trekking pole I got from Wish. This was about 40 bucks, and this is basically a tactical survival trekking pole that also has 7-in-1 multi-tools built in. It comes in this little camouflage carrying case, it has a flint rod, it has blades, a lot of survival camping trekking needs that I guess. So it's not your ordinary trekking pole or walking stick, I guess you would say. It's more towards the tactical survival end of the spectrum, and this thing is built solid. It's made out of aluminum. It's just so, so strong, as you can see. Like, this is a quality build. There were no uh, sacrifices while manufacturing this. And on this end, there's a glass breaker. Uh, I think that's titanium. And you can unscrew it. This is so modular, you can switch out pieces and put them on different sides. Um, but yeah, it's like a little storage compartment, I guess, that you could use for something like pills, I guess. Um, basically, anything you want, anything that would fit. Not much would, but whatever you guys can put in there, same thing here. Just open. And it comes in six pieces that you have to put together. Five rods and one uh, little top piece. That one is hollow. And this one has a tool in it. It has a little bit of a graphic showing you what it is. And you just have to twist it open. So that, as you guys could see, that was a spear. Now you can use this for fishing, self-defense, whatever. And these tools are pretty sharp. And they definitely do work. Yeah, this side is sharp too. The other side isn't really that sharp. But yeah, it's pretty dangerous. You could use this for fishing or hunting, whatever. And you can connect this to all the poles to make it even longer. So I guess you have a little bit of leverage. And let's put that back. And this one is a saw, saw blade. Yeah, it has serrated edges on one side and the other side is not sharp, it's dull. And if you hold this down, it goes down to cut trees or something, I don't know, wood, whatever you need. You can also... Like I said before, everything's super modular, you can extend it, and it's much easier to use that way, you know, than using a small tool. And you can just push that button to bring it back up. Now, all this got here fairly quick in about 15 days, which is pretty good. And here is another blade. This blade has a can opener on the bottom, serrated edge on one side, flat edge on the other side. And the last one is the bottom piece that you put on the bottom. It has a little plastic rubber uh, protector, I guess. And when you open that up, there's actually a flint rod in here. So you would use your blade, spark that, and make a fire. So, you know, this is such a handy must-have survival tool. And uh, it's, it's really unique. And I think this is perfect for self-defense. And it just gives you a sense of security when you're carrying it around too. Everything is built well. It's amazing. Um, There are like minor, minor scratches. But like that's nothing too surprising. And it's not really that obvious. And you can connect all of this to make it one long trekking pole. I believe this is 110 centimeters fully extended. And I think the hollow rod is if you want to make it a little bit shorter. So now I have it fully extended and everything is connected. 
as you can see 110 centimeters and this is what it looks like this is a little hammer on this side like I said before and glass breaker on the other side perfect self-defense tools and there it is so let's do a little bit of a durability test on this uh... these are just airbags you know i'm just having fun with this but you know of course airbags are not a valid test so let's do it on this box and here I'm just letting the weight do the work like I'm not putting any force there I just put some force and it just obliterated the whole box this thing is powerful it's not a toy use this carefully use this cautiously and yeah it's pretty amazing here is the little strap I guess that you put on the bag and for some reason it was really hard to open because it it keeps moving like it has a little joint on the bottom and it just keeps rotating that way so your hand kinda just slips and later I will show you guys what's an easier way to actually put this on instead use the actual hook yeah like I'm doing right now use the actual hook to push up on it and that way it is much easier and that's cool that they provide this little bag so you can store it away for when it's not in use. So yeah, very cool. Anyways, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Stick around till the end if you guys want to see some more um, additional angles of this. It came with a little rubber band on there. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Comment down below if you made it this far in my video, because that would mean a lot. I have not been posting. Well, actually, I didn't really take that long of a break, but it feels like I did. Um, I don't know. There's just not much going on. I have another armor plate I want to make a video about, but I'm just, you know, really unmotivated to make any videos right now. I don't know why. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.